Hello and welcome back to another episode of Project Supercar, the channel where I turn an old Audi estate like this one into my own supercar. And on this episode we're going to continue with the strip down of this Audi 2.7 twin turbo A6. Well it is a little tight here in my garage in the UK so I think I'll open up the garage door and push out this car just a little bit so it gives me an extra inch or two <laughs> and as we all know an extra inch can go a long way. with parting out this car is I don't have anywhere to put all the spares at the moment so it's sort of all going back into the car I know not great so I think what I'll do is I'll take all this out and then I can start work on pulling out the rear seats and I'll put out the driver's seat and then we can start pulling out the panels Well, if I'm going to remove the rear seats, I better get rid of all this as well. I do have a large box over here, so I can put all the bits and pieces in it. Now, of course, I don't know where I'm going to put the large box. still got these uh, door mirrors. I think I'm going to keep these, I might need the motors out of them. That's better. Now we can get to the seats. Now I think this is just latched in. So I think if I give it a tug, <laughs> it should just pop off. <laughs> oh dear. <laughs> Okay, and that is, yeah, that's it. The base of the seat is just clipped in place. You've got a couple of tangs here, or metal loops, and they push into these clips either side. Ooh, I found a, uh, a unit. Don't really know what that does, so uh, that'll be fun trying to find out what it does do. Right, I want to take this thing out and it looks like there's some bolts in here, actually. I think I'll remove the seat belts, these like, get them out of the way. 
You need 17 mil socket. Keep the seat belt latches and the nuts and bolts. Anything that's uh, to do with the seat belt, keep them. Um, you'll need them when you build your supercar. Uh, we'll go over that in another episode. In fact, I need to pull the panels off here so I can have a look at these belts. So we'll have a look at that in a bit. I think I'll just remove this uh, latch. This is where the seat, when you uh, close the seat, it catches on here. So I'm going to remove that and this means I should be able to remove this panel and then get to this hinge in here. This is a 17mm ring spanner. This clip pushes into there. With the bolster out of the way, I think I'll just remove this seat belt. And now I can get into the two bolts here and here, they're 13 mil, so I should just be able to undo these. Same on the other side. Right, let's see if this seat lifts out. Fingers crossed. No. Found a screw. If you remove this plastic cover, you'll find a screw down there. You just have to undo it. Once this screw is removed, this clip lifts away, it's like a clamp, and then you can lift the seat out of this hook.
steering wheel is quite easy. First, you have to remove the airbag. So just turn the steering wheel, like so, 90 degrees. This should give you access to the hole back here so you can get your ratchet spanner in the back. With one screw undone, turn it around 180 degrees. And now you can do the other one, just at the back here. With both screws undone at the back, this pulls away and then you can unplug it. Once the bolt is undone, the steering wheel comes off. Easy. With the steering wheel out of the way, I think it's time to remove the driver's seat. If we remove the plastics, we should be able to get to the bolts. With the plastic removed, the seat can be slid all the way back and out from this slider. There's a plastic cover here, we just have to remove it. It should just clip off. And now we can undo these two nuts here. I do enjoy taking out old seats from old cars because you never know what you're going to find. You might be lucky and get the odd coin or two. Oh, look what I found. Looks like someone's dropped the gold bar down the back of the seat. Well, that's going to be pretty handy. It's only worth about, I don't know, half a million pounds. It looks like the turbo build is back on. With the seats removed, I can now remove the inner panels. That was easy. Well, there's three screws, one there, one there, and one round the back. luggage ties here are a couple of screws. Just undo these here and these two here. There are two more luggage tie downs just on the inside corner in here. Well, I've come across my first problem. To get this panel out, I have to remove this. This is not bolted to the car, it's actually glued. So you have to be really, really careful and try and prise this off. And if you get it wrong, you 
snap it. Oops. Great. I'm going to try again and see if I can remove this with minimal damage. No. If you remove a series of bolts on the inside, there's four of them, you can remove the trim. There's a couple of metal spring clips, one here and one here, and they clip into the bodywork of the car. This is a 12 volt outlet, so just unconnect or disconnect the cable, the 12 volts in. And there should be a couple of screws, one in there, one around the back, and I can remove the seat belt. With the panels removed, we can see a few goodies. We have a CD changer, okay, it might be a little outdated, but it's all free, so it's good for me. And if we take a look over here, we have a sub. She's also free. Okay. I use it or not well we'll see I pulled the sub box out but it's quite a large funny shape so I um, don't think I'm going to be using this um, it's black pump so I might sell it and I've got the rear seat belts out unfortunately these are the explosive retractable style of seat belt and that's going to be a problem so it looks like the seat belts are going to be a problem on the turbo build but we'll put that to one side for now we'll carry on removing these panels and I'll pull these seat belts out even though I'm pretty much sure I can't use them there's just some plastic covers inside here and then some screws same for this handle here, which you can't quite see, it's not quite in shot. But uh, I'm the cameraman as well as the uh, mechanic and engineer and sound man and editor, so bear with me. And it looks like there's a screw in there as well. So we'll take these out and then we can start pulling these panels off.
17mm bolt just to remove the seat belt. going to refit these panels then I would suggest leaving the handle in place. These handles have a soft return. The hinges on the handles are spring-loaded. This is a damper that is glued in place. There is a peg just here that pushes into the damper in there. If you remove the handle, it can be a little awkward to get it back in, so I would just leave it in place. where the uh, wiring loom goes. Right, all the panels are out. Now I can see where the wiring is. And I like the fact that the uh, car, the donor car, is in the garbage because my carport is nice and empty. Finally, my carport is empty. It's all clear. There's no rubbish. Yay! Oh dear. Well, that didn't last long. Well, this is the joys of stripping down your donor car when you're trying to build your own DIY supercar. Anyway, I think I'll do on this episode. So join me again, and all being well, fingers crossed, I'm going to start pulling out the dashboard. So, bye for now. <laughs>